So just to keep things simple, we're just gonna go into the app. All right, guys, so there's an app that's called this right here, Authenticator. So you guys can use that. I'm gonna tap on it. So once you open up the app, you're gonna see this. Just click on Add Account. Then you can go on Add Account. It tells you personal account, work, whatever. Just go into personal account. Once you do that, you can go into scan QR code, press OK, and we're gonna scan that QR code. So right now, here is the code that it's giving me. And I just have to put that in right there. Now the bad thing and the only bad thing about these apps is that you have to put in the code really fast and it's going to keep giving you codes and codes until you can actually catch up with one. So hopefully with the next code, you guys can do it. So right now you do have to take a picture of this and then just press, I recorded these backup codes for future use, press done. And then right here, you do have to add your mobile number. So you can choose any country. So depending on what country you guys are from, then put in your phone number, or you can actually skip this and do this later. So again, we did the app because we didn't really want to use our phone number right now. We are in fact gonna skip this because we're gonna assume you guys don't have a phone number or just wanna add it later on. So we can do this later. I'm gonna say, please wait, family and PlayStation, okay. Then we can go on into the next thing. All right, you can download all these apps right now. If you're not interested, don't do it. So I'm gonna uncheck all of them. Because I actually don't want any of these, but just leave a check mark on the ones that you do want in your PlayStation. They are going to take some space up, but not that much. So you can press on download if you wanted to download anything, or you can do this later, just like me, and then just keep going with the setup. Now, those apps are very common, and that's why you get those at the start. So your PlayStation is just going to download right away. If uh, you press skip for now, like me, you can download them later on. It's not a problem. So right now it's gonna ask me, what am I? Yeah, that's me, taking this sign, and I can go ahead and update. Never, never press update later. Always update right away. So that's your option on the right hand side. Then it's just gonna update your controller. So right now it's actually updating. Now your controller light should be blue like so while it updates. And it's gonna be fairly fast because updates for your controller are actually pretty, pretty small. They don't take up too much space and it's almost done. Never unplug, by the way. So my PlayStation controller, I always had it hooked up to my PlayStation the whole time. Do not unhook it. But technically right now, we are in fact all done with the setup. You can go to your PlayStation store, buy all the games that you want. You can go to the last option up here, PlayStation Plus which gives you a bunch of subscriptions that you can do. Well, there's three. There's premium, extra, and essentials. Depends what you guys like. If you guys want to play a bunch of games monthly, then this is pretty good. What I do is go into essentials just because some games require you to have PS Plus to play online, such as GTA. But you don't need PlayStation Plus, by the way. However, in PlayStation Store, you will want to go there to get started looking for some games and downloading everything that you could ever want. So here's a bunch of games that you could download. There's free games such as Fortnite and a bunch of others. But as far as this video goes, we are all done with the setup. Congratulations. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.